The best practices because farm and ranch is a unique type of business is really kind of simple. Walk the land. Uh, real estate is a three-dimensional product. Many of my younger students and younger folks are used to Google Earth and all the other wonderful advantages we have now with the internet and the web. However, and it's not fun to walk a 4,000 acre ranch in Rock Springs in August, but you really need to walk the land and understand the three-dimensional aspect of that, which applies to all real estate. You have to realize up front, it's not the simple farmer that's out there plying with a mule. It's a whole new world. It's extremely complex. You've got mineral rights, water rights, uh, leases, crop leases, all kinds of things that, that make it important that you're more, more involved in details. I'm Dr. Charles Porter. Uh, I've been a real estate uh, agent, broker since 1978. That's almost 40 years. I have a PhD in economics and business. Uh, I've written a number of books about water rights. Not only do I teach at St. Edward's University, but also I've been named as an expert witness and testified in over 600 cases around the country in 30 years. I think one of the big reasons that farm and ranch properties have soared so greatly since 2007, 2007 is really the time that our our world kind of changed so much as far as in New York and finances. At that point, uh, even though we see it as 2008, 2007 is when money started to really tighten up. As interest rates were suppressed, especially the 10-year T-bill rate went down based upon interest rate controls by the government, all of a sudden Farm and Ranch became uh, not only a safe haven for money, but also uh, a position that, that um, um, you couldn't get returns anywhere else. The other thing is there's a tremendous tax advantage if you uh, are able to acquire an agricultural valuation. In places like Kerr County, it reduces your abalone tax obligation by 97%. Fiduciary duties are also found actually three times in the rules of the Real Estate Commission. First, in the canons of ethics. Secondly, under 535.2 of the rules, a broker has the very highest fiduciary duty. Uh, that ought to wake everybody up. The third time Trek tells you we have fiduciary duties is 535.156 in the rules, which says all agents have fiduciary duties. So I've always understood and been taught that if they say tell you three times you have fiduciary duties, you've got fiduciary duties. Above all else, we have to put our client's interests above our personal interests. And I think that's why we're very unique and people can count on us. Uh, for those of you that want further information about Farm and Ranch or a more extensive class that's for credit, I teach two classes, one a four-hour four Farm and Ranch class and another seven-hour credit class. I have published a book, Sharing the Common Pool Water Rights in the Everyday Lives of, Tex of Texans at A&M University Press. Another great book for, for Farm and Ranch Practices in Buying Land in Texas is Dr. Charles Gilliland's book, Buying Texas Land.